Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Ready Player Me. Ready Player Me is a free online cross-game avatar platform for the metaverse. The Ready Player Me isn't just any kind of character creator. It is more like a cross-game avatar platform for a metaverse and this encompasses thousands of interconnected virtual worlds that people visit daily for both work, play and collaboration. So if you're thinking about a place where you can create your own kind of avatar for either your games, your 3D model or or maybe for animation then this is one place that you should actually consider checking out since it's free it also houses a vr and also ar sort of avatar creation experience and this gives you over 300 plus customizable assets from hair outfits glasses hats and much more so getting started if you go over to readyplayer.me the first thing which you would notice is it's a very simple to use website now to get started with this you need to create yourself a brand new account and once this is done you'll be launched on a hub now prior to you getting to the hub you need to also create the character and this is where your characters will live for a very long time now within this character section you can share your characters you can connect with different apps and games that already uses the ready player one api and you can also discover way more apps now in cases where you would like to also connect or create even more stuff you can also proceed to create as much stuff as you want name your characters however you want them to be customize your looks at every given time and you have even way more stuff to do your characters exist within the section called my avatar and in most cases you might want to also create a brand new one and all you need to do is click on create a new avatar and start creating yourself a cool one now once you click on this you can choose the avatar type that you like to make if it's a full body or half body and half bodies are best for vr but in this case we're going to go for full body since we would like to do a full demo about this so in this case we're going to select the masculine model and then we can select an image now if you're not okay with uploading your own image you can actually go over to generated photos where you can find a ton of ai generated photos now in this case you can pick from a long list of generated photos that you have and you can use Use this with the ready player me now in this case what we've done is we've downloaded one of them and then we're going to simply assign it click on accept and allow the ready player me to go through analyze the image and assign this to an avatar now with this here you can now proceed to customize your model however you want so in case of changing the skin tone you can make changes to the skin tone depending on what you're going for if you like to change the outfit as well you can also proceed to do that so let's actually go ahead and add a brand new outfit to this and then we can also also throw in a tiny beard so we're just gonna go ahead and find a very light beard and uh, this looks good let's also zoom right in to see what we have here and you can customize this as much as you want now once this is ready you can click on enter the hub and this is going to transport your model from where it is right here over to the hub which actually serves as a collection of all of the models that you've made previously now with this here you can now take a look at all of the models that you have and of course if you like to make some more edits you can click on the edit button to edit even way more stuff and for those who like to download this and throw this into blender you can simply click on the download button download the avatar.glb throw it into blender tweak it however you want and you can also proceed to do some very cool lighting animate it and do even way more stuff with it but of course, in most cases, you might want to get this model and use it for a game. And in this case, you might get to need a Unity or an Unreal Engine. Now, for both Unity and Unreal Engine, there is an add-on that you can work with. And in this case, we're going to take a look at Unity and see how this one pairs up and works with it. Now, with the Unity Hub opened right here, you can simply click on New to create a brand new project. And in this case, we're just going to go ahead and leave this as a new Unity project. Click on Create to create it. Now with this ready, you would need to get the Unity package. Now in this case, I'm going to put this link in the description and I'll bring you right over to the Google Drive where you can download the Unity package and I will suggest that you download the most recent one as this has way more bug fixes and more stuff that you can work with. Now let's simply go ahead and expand this, go over to assets, go all the way down to import assets and then click on custom package locate the ready player me package where you have it saved and click on open now once that is here there's actually something i would like you guys to pay attention to don't just simply go through and hit the import as these might come with some bugs so if you scroll all the way down you would notice that we have the newtonsoft.json.dll file in two places now this would definitely give you an error if you have the both of them available so the best thing to do is turn one off which in this case is going to be one that exists within the runtime and not within the aot and click on import 
import. Now, once this is imported and everything is ready to go, you'll be presented with a UI. Now, within that UI is where you can load whatever character you've already created previously. And of course, you would like to retarget animations to this character, or maybe you would like to take a look at the animations that exist and also the preset models that exist. You can also proceed to do this. So with this window open right here, which is known as the avatar loader, you can simply load in a model from here. So how we can load this model is as easy as going over to our readyplayer.me hub where we have our avatar saved. And in this case, because we created a brand new avatar, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the menu button right here, copy the GLB URL, and then go all the way back to Unity and paste it right here. So once you paste this, you can confirm all of this and then click on load avatar. Now, once you click on the load avatar, what would happen is the ready player me avatar loader will take a look at the short code or the URL that you fed into this and it will automatically load the avatar right here within your viewport. So if you take a look at what we have here, you would notice that we have our model living and breathing right in the viewport. You can actually go ahead and press the playback button to see how this one actually animate. And in this case, we have our camera at the very wrong angle. So let's just go in and change this actually I think it's best to select the model and we can rotate this model 180 degrees and then we can also push the character or push the camera a little bit closer and then press the playback button to actually see what we get so with this you can see that we have animations running in and in this case this is exactly how easy it is for you to get started with it now in most cases you guys might be asking how can you add more animations to this how can you play with the animator sequence you know questions like this make sense and how you can fix this is once you install the unity package you would notice that you have the ready player me menu right here click on the ready player me menu click on avatar loader and from here you would notice that we have two different folders that you can work with the very first one is the review animation target and the second one is review animation folder. So if you click on the review animation targets, this is going to open up folder where you can find different targets that you can work with. Now the targets that we have here consist of both the male targets and the female targets. And in most cases, I would suggest that you use the female or the male targets version two to do whatever thing that you want. So if you're also thinking about loading several forms of animation to this, this is the best one to use. And how do you load this animation? How you can load this animation is as simple as going over to Mixamo and uh, we will need to upload our character. So because we've already specified that we would like to use the male animation target version 2, we'll click, drag and drop this right here and automatically this will be uploaded onto Mixamo and the auto rig will do its job by rigging this as quick as it can and then we can apply as much motions as we would like. So with this ready, we can proceed to click on next to confirm that we're good with the model. Click on next one more time to have it within the viewport. And then you can proceed to select the animation that you like to work with. Proceed to pick the goalkeeper scoop. I guess this is uh, this is actually something that we can work with. Click on the download button. Make sure that you have this as both FBX and it also comes with a skin. Once you have this ready, click on download to download it. And then you can proceed to copy this over to the part where you need it to exist. So with this model downloaded and ready to go, the next thing which you need to do is click on reveal animation folder. Now this is where all the animations would leave. And because we've already downloaded the animation, we need to also load up that animation exactly within the folder that is corresponding with the type of animation that we're dealing with. And in this case, we're dealing with a male animation. And if you come right over to the folder, which we have here, that is set to resources animation male, you would notice we have just two, the walking and the idle breathing. So we will go in and copy the goalkeeper scoop and paste this one right over here. Now, once we paste this in here, you probably will not notice any huge difference. Now, how you can transfer that animation over to the model is by simply going over to plugin, go over to where we have as the Wolf 3D Ready Player Me, go over to resources and then go over to where we have as animations. Now within the animations, you would notice that we have both the female and the male, double click on the male. And now you'd notice we have the goalkeeper. Now, if you select the goalkeeper or if you select the new animation that you've just loaded in, you'll notice we have a tiny error here. So how you can fix this error is go over to the rig and then simply update it and click on apply. Now, once you have this one ready, click on this tiny button so that you can preview the Mixamo animation yourself. Now, once you do that, drag this all the way up, press the playback button to preview, and you can see the animation that you've just created. Now, it makes more sense to also understand that if you select any of these models as well, go over to the animation section, you have the animations exactly how they're supposed to be. And in this case, we're just also going to select the goalkeeper. 
and you would notice that the name is set to Mixamo. So the best thing to do is just change this to Goalkeeper and uh, press the Enter key just to make sure that you have it. And you might be wondering how now do we pair this together. Go over to where you have as animation controllers and double click that to get the animators or you can click on windows, go all the way down to animation and go over to the animators. Now, once you have this ready, click on the avatar or double click on the avatar and then you would notice that we have that idle and also the walk. So go all the way back to where you have animation, select the goalkeeper, click and drag and drop this right here. Select the first one, which is the walk. Take that off since that is not what we want and set the goalkeeper as the animation that we would like to work with. Now, once this is ready, you can now proceed to go all the way back to your scene. Now press the playback button and you get the animation playing exactly how you want it to be. So let's also go ahead and stop this and move the camera all the way back to a point like so. Press the playback button as well and see what we can get. And for developers looking for ways to integrate this into the iOS or Android Unity based app, you can actually get this one running as the SDK now simply supports this directly within Unity at runtime. So your players no longer need to leave the app to go over to the browser to do this as they can actually do it directly within the app and this is super easy to work with. I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you guys over to the video that will explain this more for both iOS and Android developers and this is just awesome. So this is more like it for those who are looking for a platform that is free that can give you access to tons of services and also allow you to create your 3D model exactly the way you want them with tons of customizable features that you can get for free. Ready Player Me is right here and you can proceed to check this one out. A huge shout out to the folks at Wolf 3D for making this one possible and I would like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I'll see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this, peace.